Welcome, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to cover some RVing basics, and that is hooking up a travel trailer. One important note, before you do hook up, you want to make sure that your travel trailer is properly loaded, and for instructions how to do this, you can check out the video in the description. Now that we're confident our travel trailer is properly loaded to help reduce awkward sway or bad towing conditions, now it's time to start the hookup process. And to do so, we want to back our truck up and line up the hitch ball with the travel trailer's coupler. Now you can obviously do this using mirrors or looking out the back window if you have a truck, but preferably you can use a guide or a spotter to help you line it up. Once you're somewhat close and lined up, now it's time to make sure that your wheel chocks are in place, your stairs are up, your slides are in, and any stabilizer jacks are retracted. All right, next we want to remove the coupler pin here and open up our latch so that it can accept the ball. Our next step is to raise the trailer coupler higher than the ball so that we can back the truck underneath it. This one has a power tongue jack, so I'm simply going to touch the button and raise it up. So with our coupler raised up, next up we're just going to back the truck up so that ball goes underneath so that way we can drop the coupler down on it. Obviously good communication with your spotter here will be key so you know when to stop. Once we're in position, we're simply going to put it in park and set the parking brake. Now that we're lined up, we're going to drop the coupler down onto the hitch ball and then close our safety latch. Now, if the latch doesn't shut completely, we'll want to get in our tow vehicle and pull forward ever so slightly, obviously releasing the parking brake, and that should allow that latch to close down. Okay, now that our latch is in place, we are going to lock the latch with a pin. That is something you want to make sure you do, otherwise this can pop up, become unattached. Obviously, that is a horror story. We do not want that to happen. Then we're going to hook up our safety chains. They should be in a X formation underneath. They're going to attach right here on the hitch. Once those are attached, then it is time to attach the breakaway cable. Couple quick things I want to talk about on this. One, do not wrap it around your chains. It's a common mistake people make. It can get caught and bound in there and actually snap, and then you don't have any kind of emergency braking system. Also, when you hook it up, this is not the right kind of carabiner. This can break, this can open up, it can come out again, then your fail safe fails. You want one that actually locks like so. Put that on there, hook it up, and then lock it in place. With our safety chains and our breakaway cable hooked up, now it's time to simply plug in the wiring and completely raise up the tongue jack. Okay, with it all hooked up, we just have a few safety checks before we go. First, we wanna check our lights and make sure our lights are working. Then we will want to check the brake control, make sure the gain is set where you want it to be. And then lastly, we wanna make sure we close all our propane and turn off propane using appliances. Lastly, while this is an easy method, honestly, I personally recommend having a weight distribution hitch to help redistribute the weight as well as for some sway control just to give you some better towability while going down the road. But that wraps it up for today, folks. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and until next time, we'll see ya.